Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Medicine Bag by Virginia Driving Hawk Sneeve. Virginia was born on February 21, 1933 and her first book, Jimmy Yellow Hawk, which was written in 1971, won the first prize in the contest held by the Council on Interracial Books. Immediately, she became a very important writer and she started writing a lot and her books were also received well with the public. Her second book was High Elk's Treasure and she has written many books and she has also received many awards and honours and some among those awards and honours are the South Dakota Governor's Award in the Arts for her creative achievement and she has also received honorary doctorates from South Dakota State University and Dakota Wesleyan University and the National Education Association also awarded her the Author Illustrated Award in 1996 and she is the first South Dakadian to be awarded the National Humanities Medal and this medal was presented to her by the President Bill Clinton on December 20, 2000. And uh, she has also written adult fiction, non-fiction, short stories, articles, editorials and book uh, introductions. And she has written a lot of work for children. And among these, the most famous ones are the 1995 Completing the Circle and the first American series, which is based on the native people of North America. And when we see this story in Medicine Back, the main characters are Martin. In fact, the story comes in such a way that Martin is narrating the story to us. And Martin's younger sister Cheryl and Ian, Joe Ian Shell, who is Martin's great-grandfather and Ian Shell, who is great-grandfather's father and Hank, which is, uh, who is Martin's friend. And this story is narrated by Martin, who is a Native American boy and he is 13 years old. And Martin's mother is a Native American, but his father is a white man and he is a teacher in the college. And he lives with his kid sister, Cheryl, who is only 10 years old. And every summer, Martin and his sister will go and meet their great-grandfather, who is 86 years old. And this great-grandfather is living in the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. And this is where all the Lakotas are living. Lakotas are one tribe of North American uh, tribes. Uh, reservation means it is a place which is allotted for these Native Americans to stay and to get educated and civilized by the co colonial people. That is the people who came and colonized uh, those areas. They will uh, give a particular place and call it as a reservation where they will bring all the Native Americans and give them the basic education and try and get them a job and uh, try to civilize uh, them. And actually, uh, Martin is staying in Iowa, which is a, a place which is very far away from this uh, Dakota, Dakotian uh, region. But every summer, they will go and uh, meet their great-grandfather. And whenever they come back to Iowa, uh, Martin will be happy to tell his uh, friends about what happened there. But he will not tell exactly what he sees or what he experiences but he'll exaggerate it in such a way that his friends will be able to visualize uh, the native americans whom they have seen on television or read in the books or seen in the cinema and when they're coming back also uh, martin and his sister will bring a lot of lakota artifacts and show it to their friends and their friends will be fascinated when they see all these items uh, but Martin will never show any picture of his great-grandfather because uh, his great-grandfather is not uh, like the ones whom they have seen uh, in the television uh, uh, or in cinema. That is, he will not look like the native Indians who are shown in the uh, media. Therefore, he will never show the original uh, picture of his great-grandfather, but he will keep on telling a lot of stories about them to his friends. Uh, and the story will begin in, uh, with uh, Martin who is inside the house will come out and peep in the road because he hears a lot of dogs barking. And when he comes and peeps out, he sees his great-grandfather who was dressed in a tall black hat and a baggy pant walking down the road. And seeing him, uh, Martin realizes that he is literally looking out for their home only. And he feels so embarrassed on looking at the way grandpa is dressed. But he runs in the road and he uh, takes a suitcase from his grandfather's hand and he holds his hand and brings him home. And uh, grandpa, who is a person who follows all the customs and traditions of the North American uh, tribes, he greets Martin formally and shakes hands with him even though he is very tired. And all this shows that the grandpa is a person who 
is a strict follower of all the tradition that is it is in his blood he follows all the tradition now and uh, when uh, martin's great grandfather comes inside martin's mother who is the granddaughter of the great grandpa is shocked to see the grandfather because south dakota is a place which is very far away from iowa and she could not imagine that in this age even without knowing the proper route her grandfather had come all the way and cheryl who is only 10 years old when she sees a great grandpa she is so happy she runs and she goes and hugs him and grandpa also hugs her but uh, as he is doing it he collapses and he falls down and uh, immediately martin and his mother uh, carry grandpa and uh, makes him to lie down on the bed and martin undresses his grandpa and only when he is undressing he realizes how old and frail the man is because he is 86 years old and as he is undressing him he sees a leather pouch on a leather string which is tied to grandpa's neck and when ma when he removes the grandpa's boots he finds that grandpa had stuffed money inside his boots and has come there they call for a doctor and the doctor comes and checks grandpa and he says that grandpa has collapsed because he has traveled a long distance and because of his age and because of the heat and that is why he has become tired and due to this tiredness only grandpa had fainted his mother immediately prepares soup for him and grandpa has the soup and then he tells martin and his family that he has come to iowa because after the family left uh his place he felt lonely he couldn't stay in the reservation so he wanted to live with his only living relatives in his last days so he has come there and when they asked him how he was able to manage because he does not know the route he says that a policeman helped him by getting him into the correct bus and then uh, he asked many people had he found the street but after coming to the street he did not know which house was martin's house now everyone in the family they are feeling very guilty because every summer they had gone there but they had never thought about bringing the grandpa here and at the same time martin when he listens to the story of how his grandpa came to such a long distance travel how did he undertake in this age he feels that uh, this man is a person who has to be respected for his braveness uh, because uh, no one in that age will go to a place where they don't even know the route uh, and uh, grandpa tells that uh, Martin sorry Martin gives him the money which he found in the boats and grandpa tells him that uh, he had saved this money for his funeral and he gives that 100 dollars to them so that he can they can use it for their groceries uh, and he also does not want to be a burden to the family because he is going to stay with them so that also shows his uh, way he has brought up like he does not want to be a burden even to his own granddaughter's family and martin's father immediately comes there on hearing that the grandpa has come and uh, he uh, greets him with a lot of respect and he also apologizes for having never thought that he should have brought this old man to his house earlier and grandpa says that he also did not come all this time because he was waiting for the right time to come over to the house and while he says that he says that this is the time when i have to hand over this medicine bag to martin and martin sees a medicine bag which is hanging around grandfather's neck and he is horrified because he could not imagine wearing this leather pouch in his neck in this area but uh, he knows that grandpa wants to give it to him and he is just uh, waiting uh, to see that the grandpa avoids giving to him and then afterwards grandpa stays with the family for two months and all cheryl's uh, friends all they come and cheryl is very happy to introduce her grandpa to Uh, everyone but uh, martin is still embarrassed to show his gra- great grandfather to his friends uh, because he had uh, he, he thought that he had given a different image to his friends uh, but one day all his friends without announcing they come to his home to meet his grandpa and uh, on that day grandpa is dressed in his best clothing and he greets the boys all in a very formal way and later on he tells to martin that he knew that his friends will be coming on that day so he had put on his good clothes and when the friends comes uh, grandpa tells to all martin's friends a lot of stories which happened in his childhood and how, the way he lived and all that and the boys are so impressed by his story and uh, they show their respect to him and martin also feels that he is seeing his father grandfather in a different light uh, and uh, next day grandpa calls martin and he tells a story about this medicine bag he says that only the first man in the family will be holding this medicine bag 
and that a person who is having this medicinal bag should give it to the next person who will be in the family who will be the man of the family and he talks about his father that is uh, jo iron shell is martin's great grandfather and this great grandfather's father's story is told now and grandpa's father's name is iron shell and uh, he went in search that is these tribal people will go in search of uh, many herbs in the uh, forest and as he went he found a, a shell of an iron kettle which was left near an old campfire place so he took it and he put it in the skin bag which he was carrying and he went on searching for all the herbs this uh, vision uh, herb quest is uh, search for the herbs medicinal herbs and afterwards what happened is he was taken away to the boarding school which was far away from his place and while he was in that boarding school he was uh, taught blacksmithing that is uh, to make articles with iron and later on uh, this iron shell he kept this medicine bag with him and uh, later he gave it to grandfather because grandfather was the first man in the family and grandfather had only one son who died in a war most probably it would have been the world war second and uh, that grandpa did not have any other son and this son had only a daughter which was martin's mother and since martin is the first son for uh, in his family now grandpa is giving this back to martin and when martin hears all the story and realizes the value of this medicine bag now he gets away from the fear of wearing it and now grandpa puts that medicine bag over his head but he tells him that he need not wear it like how he is wearing all the time he tells him you keep this safe but when you come to the reservation you should wear it and you have to go in search of the sage sage is a type of uh, medicinal herb which will be found in the grasslands it has a lot of medicinal value and they also use it in the food to give aroma so he says when you take when you come to reservation you search for this herb sage and you collect it in this medicine bag and this uh, will help during any illness or anything and then the story ends quickly because uh, martin says that they had to take grandpa to the hospital one night and two weeks later he was on the reservation which tells that grandpa had died and they had brought his body to bury in the reservation because that is the place where grandpa had lived all his life and uh, martin does exactly what his grandpa told him he goes around and he searches for this uh, sacred sage from the grasslands and he puts it in his medicinal bag which signifies to the readers that martin is now prepared to carry on his traditional customs and culture along with him uh, this is a very beautiful story written by uh, here and uh, i hope uh, you had enjoyed the summary if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribe my channel please subscribe thank you